I have JT and Ed right here. You guys, thank you for saying yes and uh, embarking on a nice conversation about happiness, uh, what it means to give back, use your platform for good, um, and so much more. I think we have a lot to cover here, and then I want to educate a lot of people on who the two of you are um, and, and what your lives are about at this point. You buy, you're, you're both wearing smile hoodies, which makes me smile. Um, it's such a big thing. I think a uh, smile can lift people up in so many ways. So we'll get into a lot of that. But again, thank you for, uh, for trusting me with the conversation over the next hour, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited. I love everything about what you guys have already accomplished, but I want to go back to the beginning of all of it, if you don't mind, uh, to kind of walk everybody through how your guys' platform, especially through TikTok, I think a lot of people know right now that's like the buzziest social platform, uh, but what made you guys get on the platform? What made you use it for good? And then ultimately get involved with uh, this kindness campaign and everything when it comes to um, your partners now. Me or you, Ed? I think you go first, and then uh, I, I get a piggyback off that. It's great. You got it. Uh, I actually downloaded TikTok just as a alternate app to be able to uh, record car karaoke videos. Um, you know, you could play music and record at the same time uh, to post back onto Instagram. It didn't take but two weeks on TikTok that I learned that I'm not the only weird weirdo out there that loves to lip sync and uh, rock out and the amount of love and support I started to receive through TikTok almost uh, overwhelmed me with this sense of uh, community. Um, mm. Next thing I know, I'm head over heels in love with the app. Uh, it grew rapidly. Um, I started hiding some hats and then it exploded. Uh, fast forward, I met this amazing gentleman uh, that I've had an opportunity to do some amazing things with. Um, and it's almost like a dream. Uh, it's, it's been crazy. Well, and to, uh, if I may, the, I never had any intention of downloading TikTok. Um, I was going through a rough time, uh, with, uh, uh, quarantine and everything. I was sitting in my garage. Somebody sent me a funny video. Uh, I downloaded the app, um, I didn't have a lot of faith in the app, but that I, I thought the app wasn't for me. And um, I downloaded the app, started watching videos. And at one point I, I thought, oh, I could do that. And uh, I started filming. I never had any interest in, uh, 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 I never knew what it could become. Uh, I never thought that I'd meet all of these inspiring people um, and uh, uh, be a part of something bigger than myself. Um, I never thought that I'd be able to have any sort of impact, let alone uh, on anyone else, let alone on myself. And uh, the fact that I'm sitting here right now tells me uh, how wrong, how wrong I was. It is an honor to be um, in this room with uh, the people that are in this room right now. Um, I'm going to try not to get emotional so early on. Uh, we, we could get to hopefully that part later. Um, but, um, it is, uh, it has been a complete blessing and, uh, uh, to think from something I thought, uh, would never be a part of my life, uh, to have completely changed it. Um, and, uh, a lot of that is because of the people in this room, um, right now. So, um, uh, I, I don't just mean the people who are, who are here right now during, during this interview, but the people that are listening to. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, it's a beautiful community and, uh, I'm just so damn thankful if I can, if I could say so myself. So, man, I don't think I could have started, uh, started this conversation any other way. Cause in, in me simply asking like where things were, uh, at the, at the forefront of this for the two of you, uh, I think opened up a lot. Uh, there's, there's a lot of pointers that you hit on, which was, um, embarking on something bigger than yourself which is clear as day that the two of you all are doing. Um, there, there's also another point of, of building community, right? Partnering together and what that could have done to kind of amplify your guys's, your audiences and do good. Um, it's insane though. I feel like something that doesn't often pass people's mind is the impact they would have doing something bigger than themselves. And something I thought about before 
uh, we decided to do this interview together. And as I'm, I was preparing um, to have this conversation, I was thinking to myself, like when you do work or, you know, you do, you just live a life of service and you continue to do that on a grander scale, then it just like, and everything just feels better. Everything looks better. Everything feels better. But uh, how do the two of you feel now that you all are, um, kind of continuing to impact people's lives in such a positive way. And it's the little things. It's the sweater that's, or sorry, sweatshirt that says smile. Um, you know, it, it's the people that just get to watch your videos and and think to do something better for someone else. Uh, but how, how do the two of you actually feel on the inside to give people a better understanding as to like how this is really impacting you? Go ahead, Ed. <clears throat> well, honestly... <laughs> Right now, I feel pretty overwhelmed, uh, but overwhelmed with uh, love and support. And I'm, um, I'm just in this place right now where you realize, and if, if, if you can realize the impact that you can have and realizing that uh, for filming a 15-second video can change someone's day, filming a 15-second video can change someone's life, filming a 15-second video uh, um, can save somebody's life. Filming a 15 second video in the wrong way can do the wrong things too. When I downloaded the app and JT knows this too, I was never, and, and if I may, I'd watch, but JT and I started getting compared to each other early on by your looks and everything. And I'd see what he was doing. And I was like, I'm never going to dance on this app. And I'm certainly not ever going to cry. Well, most of my content now is trying to dance. And, uh, and I, I do some crying, uh, do some crying too. Um, the ability of the impact of one person on another person with what we have in our hands um, is, is something that I think people need to recognize and need to recognize the power that you have. Um, you know, you, you can really, really change uh, the world with uh, the, this community. And um, I think we've, we've seen that. I've said it before and I'll say it again, take talk saves lives. Um, and uh, um, this is an amazing, an amazing opportunity for the world to um, uh, come together and show what uh, kindness can, uh, kindness can do and what it is doing in this world. Um, the world needs some good news, damn it. And um, uh, we're, I think we're, on a mission to uh, try and give them that. And um, uh, people, people want, want, want some good and want to be a part of something good. And, and I'm, I'm just a person that wants to be uh, part of that. And um, uh, just hopefully inspire one person to do something good for other people. I would have to uh, obviously echo everything he says, but um one of the most beautiful things is literally in this very moment, um, I just had something hit me. Uh, here we are in this moment, this opportunity speaking to you, Justin, um, talking about kindness and its ability to make a difference. Um, and if we listen to what Ed just said, uh, he, he downloaded this app and treated it as a joke. Um, he was making fun of it. He was he had no desire to do anything special with it. Uh, we didn't really care for one another in the beginning because this app meant the world to me. I had built and uh, been a part of um, this unbelievably amazing supportive community of people. I knew the power of this app and to get tagged in someone who was clearly uh, not taking the app very serious, was doing his own thing. Um, to what he is today. And I would, I can't help but to think uh, maybe, maybe just me continuing to just be kind and um, show my emotion, uh, be proud of who I am uh, and stay true to myself and what I wanted to do on this app. I'm, I'm fairly confident in saying it changed that man's life. Um, and I have never thought of that before. Uh, but listening to his story right there, it's, I think that's the, 
I think that's kind of the proof, Ed. I think I think we 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 witnessed what kindness can do. Um and now we're doing it on such a big scale. Uh well, and JT, if I may, I've never really realized that either until I know you've changed my life. We've we've talked, we've talked about that, but I never realized when I downloaded it, I had all those emotions. I was upset. I was in a not the greatest place. I was down and defeated. And it was sitting there right in front of me. And this community was sitting there right in front of me. And uh, this band was sitting there right in front of me fighting uh, for other people and uh, 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 fighting for his family and fighting for uh, positivity in a world that was not uh, very positive. <laughs> or didn't seem to be uh, for a lot of us. And um, him continuing, uh, him continuing that message, uh, if he had stopped, it would have never happened um, because it would have, it just never would have happened. And the fact that we're here uh, together now, even talking about this, is uh, you have to let kindness in. And um, uh, uh, JT, you know how much I love you, bro. And um, love you too. Uh, what an inspiration uh, I think you are. And uh, I'm just so thankful uh, to you and your community, um, honestly, uh, for welcoming some, some guy who did not take this uh, seriously, um, who uh, takes it very, very seriously now. Um, and, uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just so thankful that you didn't waver, bro. <laughs> like you didn't waver and you kept doing the right thing. I don't, I don't know. I'm glad you're here. So there you go, Justin, that literally just happened on your show. Um, Ed and I have never one time had that conversation. Mm. It's the power of it. it- the power of being present too. I can, I can feel it with the both of you. It's really interesting. And it's all done on a zoom call, which is like crazy to me. I'm over here, like trying not to choke up, but I think a lot of what happens when you guys are talking about the good that you're doing um, and how that's impacted you personally in such a great way. And um, then to have like the same experience mutually is what brings out that conversation. So thanks for this. Thank you for saying all of that. You did say, Ed, letting kindness in. And I think a lot of folks are avoiding that. And you would think after a year and a half of a pandemic where a lot of people died and a lot of people lost their jobs and homes and a lot of things, we lost, 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 felt like the world was losing, right? And then I know that people today are still taking the repercussions of this pandemic that we're still going through. Uh, and but you said to let kindness in. So as as JT had had a vision for taking kindness and amplifying it on social, and when you at the very first glance at it had taken it somewhat of as a joke, as you'd mentioned, what was that conversation between the two of you that you felt like Ed, you were allowing him to let kindness in? Well, to be honest with you, and JT, please correct me if I'm wrong, but we had, there was, there are some physical similarities here. Um, Everybody thinks (laughs) you're twins. (laughs) There are some physical similarities here. And when it started, when I started posting videos, I, he kept getting tagged in all my stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm, and I'll, have you checked out JT Laborn? Have you checked out JT? You got to go check out JT Laborn. It's like, I've seen this dude, but that's totally not my, like, I want to sit here and do nothing. And I want to sit here and make jokes in my garage. I don't want to, I'm not trying to do uh, something. Uh, I'm just trying to chill. Like, honestly, I'm just trying to chill and take my mind off of all the negativity uh, and negative things that I'm going through um, in my own life now. And I was live one night and uh, this man uh, posted a video and said, my long lost, uh, along these lines, my long lost uh, twin brother, my long lost brother is live right now. Uh, if you want to stop in and tag me in the video. And 
a flood of people came into my life and blew my mind. And they were all full of love and kindness and everything. And it was completely shocking um, to me. And I realized the power of that. Uh, I think that was the moment. Um, and, and I think that was the moment where things changed. And I was like, I could hang with this guy. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever it is that he and his, uh, uh, his community just made me feel was amazing. I'm not sure what that is yet. I'm not sure what that means, um, but I I really want to connect. Um, connect. That was the moment point. that I fell in love with Ed when I watched what happened. That was the moment. Just keep going, Ed. Well, and that was the thing. I remember the complete shock, and then more people started coming in, and then more people were excited, and more people were finally excited for this connection that I think, honestly, I was kind of like, eh. I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, I, I'd just rather hang out in my garage and chill and I don't need, first of all, I can't dance. Uh, so this isn't going to work. Um, second of all, I'm, and like I said, I'm not crying on TikTok. It's not going to happen. Uh, that's, that's just seemed crazy to me. Um, and after that, uh, I mean, a lot of, a lot of amazing things have happened. Um, and uh, we're here again in this room right now. And um, uh, it's just incredible. I think a lot of great things fall into your lap when you allow uh, not just kindness in, but you allow people in, which is why I was so happy yeah. to bring the two of you on to hear that. And this was clearly done on social media, which a lot of people look at social media sometimes as a negative platform or a comparison platform or as like a nice ego boost and all these things that uh, you guys are such a reminder that we don't need to use it for that. Um, I always try not to say anything about my personal life on here, but I can't help it. You guys are literally spitting images of what I've always tried to create on Instagram as well, right? Yeah, I'm running my I'm running my eight miles, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day and like find a reason to smile today. Da, 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 da. Um, but that's what it's about. You know what I mean? I think that for so long, people are looking for a reason to use social media as an escapism mechanism or whatever escape mechanism. And, and, and you would think they would want to look at nothing but good things, positive energy, smiles, laughter, and things that make them feel good. But for some reason, social media has, had tur has turned into everything but that for a lot of people, which leads into a spiraling, you know, sensation of anxiety and depression and such. So um, more on this bigger message of uh, positive energy and influencing people in, in a big, bigger and better way. I think with the two of you, I want your thoughts on this. But when you think about the one person who just like Ed did, right, needed that tool like TikTok to, to kind of fulfill something that was either empty or already in a negative space. How do you want to now take forth? And like you guys have clearly done it. I want to talk about the American Heart Association and what's happening with ZOA. But I think that, and you guys feel free by any chance to like, you know, let us know how people have tapped you and like who, who, who comments now, who comes to you. Um, but just general thoughts here. I feel like when you do think of some one person, whoever that is, that watches your content now and smiles and laughs and, you know, shares your good energy with someone that could need it as well. Um, how does that then sit with you? Um, heavy, uh, because it's beautiful. Um, but when you live in this, this world, this realm, uh, you are also subjected to a very hurt, um, beat up, uh, sad individual. Um, and sometimes um, they don't know what else to do other than continue with that hatred and negativity and, uh, I don't think they mean uh, anything bad by it, but um, when you constantly read through comments and messages of saying like, yeah, well, 
it's not that easy. And I just want to quit. I just want to give up. Um, you think your smile is going to save my life or, uh, and it's heavy. Um, those amazing comments, those amazing moments, those amazing letters, uh, messages reminds us all the time why we have to keep going, um, why we have to keep doing this. Uh, I learned a long time ago that everyone has the right to choose whatever path they want to choose um, to feel whatever way they want to feel. And that's not my responsibility uh, to change that per se. Um, I can lead by example. I can share my experiences and hope that it inspires people to do something different, do something um, to make a change in their life. Uh, I, I didn't really understand the impact that an app could have until TikTok. Um, I'm extremely grateful for it. Uh, but it, it does come with that level of, uh, as Ed said earlier, overwhelming um, feelings uh, and, and learning that balance has been a uh, beautiful thing to learn. But I know what we're doing is changing lives. I know what we're doing is making a difference. Um, and sometimes, as you said, Justin, just thinking about one individual, just thinking about one person uh, that as you're out and about walking around that comes up and gives you a big hug and says, you have no idea who I am, but you saved my life. Thank you. And they shake your hand and they walk off. It's those are those moments that you just hold on to. And it's, 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 it's powerful. Mm. Dudes. Honestly, it's so hard. You know, I, it's so hard for me and it's so simple at the same time. And I know JT and I, uh, we are so much, it was so fortunate to actually get together and connect and thank, thank everything uh, that we uh, we relate and have the same thoughts and the same ideas and the same uh, ways to go about things. But it's hard if that person if that person is listening right now that needs love to that needs to know that they're heard right now that needs to know that they're seen. I know I don't know who you are. We know that yet. Uh, but if you're listening right now and you need a message of hope, I love you. You are enough. Uh, kindness can change the world um, with the most simplest of, of things. Um, and, and I know it because I look up to this dude, uh, uh, JT, uh, down here. He's, he's down. He's underneath, he's underneath me on my screen right now. But I'm looking up to you, bro. And um, I just know the power, like JT said, when people come up and they're like, oh my gosh, you don't know what you did for me. And, and I don't think people realize sometimes it's like, I don't think you realize what you're doing for me when that, when that message comes across. This is like, I would, be, I would not be doing this without, um, without you. Um, and I could not do this uh, without him. I want to have it any other way. Um, I can't believe we're, again, I keep saying it. Um, I can't believe I'm in this room right now. I can't believe uh, uh, to have the blessing of my brother. I never knew I had um, uh, until uh, until this. Uh, the blessing of uh, the other folks on this call. The blessing of uh, um, uh, Zoa Energy. The blessing of Dwayne Johnson. The blessing that I'm even saying that sentence out loud is not something that I can really comprehend, and I'm still trying to comprehend. Um, and the blessing of Justin Crawford. And, and I mean it, bro, like, I can't wait to put my arms, I hope I get to put my arms around you someday and hear your story um, too and, uh, and send you some love. Because I think when you watch the news or you listen, you can find what you want to hear. There's plenty of the stuff you think you want to hear that we're hearing and everything. But my 99% of my interactions with other human beings during the day is positive. And I think that's the uh, that's the most important thing to remember. We all have those bad days. 
we have those bad interactions. But when you really think about it and you're around people, people want love um, and people, sometimes that's a little bit harder to pay attention to with all the negativity um, that's out there and all the negativity that may get watched a little bit longer or viewed a little bit more times. Um, kindness is free. Uh, that doesn't mean it doesn't come at a cost, but kindness is not always easy. Um, and, uh, uh, kindness wasn't easy for me. Yeah, I, I'm a kind guy, but it took this dude, uh, <laughs> continuing his pursuit of kindness, um, uh, and making people smile over and over and over and over and over again, and sharing that, uh, that love with me, uh, to get my head on straight. Um, and, uh, now we're here. And that's, I'm going to add to that. That's why I chose the word heavy is uh, you feel this, this level of responsibility. Um, and Ed and I are no different than any other human being out there. We have terrible days. We have awful moments. Uh, we're mad. We're depressed. We're upset. We're angry. Um, but we have a responsibility. Uh, the best part about it all, Justin, is it doesn't take much when we're in those modes to get out of it because we can go to a comment section or our messages. Um, and it's, it's uh, motivating, inspiring. Um, and you just want to, you, you want to help everybody. Ed said this a second ago, which is that it, doesn't just because it's uh kindness is free doesn't mean it doesn't come with a cost mm -hmm. and then jt you just ended um but by saying that like you know when when if i could sum it up essentially you pretty much just said the exact same thing without saying it which is that like you want to give right and it's all about the energy that you're putting out and I think when people are even mildly thinking about being kind to someone else or giving some type of, um, you know, energy or whatever that is to somebody else, it might seem exhausting or taxing, uh, which is why I think a lot of people might stray away from it. Um, but you guys are proving to all of us, and especially if you're listening right now, uh, you, you guys are proving to us that there is more that can come out of any give situation or any, you know, anytime you are, it, it could be exhausting or what have you, but how are you guys able to make it not exhausting? It, it's not just how, because you're passionate about helping people, but like technically it's, it can be exhausting and taxing to like be, you know, giving all the time and want to give your energy and kindness to other people. Um, but how do you guys able to do it without making it so exhausting? Like, I guess the real question here is, um, um, how are you making sure that you're putting in just as much as you're giving out so you don't get, um, you know, burnt? Uh, I am fortunate, uh, as is Ed, I have the most amazing better half. My wife is hands down my rock. My wife is uh, the person that I can go and break down to, that I can go and um, rely on. Uh, when I need that. Um, and kindness can be exhausting, uh, but it is so fulfilling. It's so rewarding. Um, the scariest part about it is that you can't, you can't go into kindness with that mentality. You can't go in knowing that like it's, or, or expecting it to be rewarding um, because you, you will be disappointed because some people don't know how to accept kindness. Some people don't know how to handle kindness and they're not going to react the way that you would expect them to or want them to. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's conditional kindness. Um, Ed and I preach unconditional kindness. Uh, do something because you want to with zero expectation in return. Uh, when you do it, it becomes fulfilling. Um, it's still exhausting, but it is so fulfilling and rewarding uh, when you, when you come from that place of love, that unconditional kindness and love, uh, it, it fills your cup back up. Mm. 
Well, and JT, if I can, uh, speaking of the ex exhaustion, and and he just popped into my mind, so I want to mention him, and, and this is a good good moment. We we put a mirror up in uh, in Los Angeles, and it was a it was a day. Um, and we've all had those days. This was a day, and and this mirror simply was to show uh, that you are enough. Um, and it kind of starts within and kind of can do all of these amazing things. It was a day, it was a day, it was a day. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life at the end of that day happened. Um, indescribable. And it made all of that work and the exhaustion and the, the technical details and difficulties, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I remember embracing JT and embracing this, uh, this amazing gentleman named Hallelujah uh, and saying, this is what it, this is what it is. This is what, this is what it's worth. And it's funny, or it's not funny for the people listening or watching right now too. I was fortunate enough at the point where JT sent those people into my life to have an open heart and to be excited and to let that kindness in. I promise you, if you're listening and you're doubting this, as long as you have the right, the right heart and you wanna watch and you wanna watch kind of stand and you wanna watch this movement and, what, and, and go back and see what's it been able to be done already, I promise you, if you have your heart in the right place and you want to see that kindness, you will see it and you will feel it. And it will not be about Justin or Ed or JT or, or anything else. It'll be about that person inside you that wants that, 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 that piece of kindness that we all need. I read something the other day. It's like, and I don't know where it came from. I don't know if this is the exact number. It's like, we need seven hugs a day. Somebody said, we need seven That's hugs cool. a day. We've been in the past few years of not being able to hug anybody. So we've got to virtually hug one another. Um, and at least if you could get that virtual hug, whether it's from uh, JT or this amazing podcast or Zoe Energy or Dwayne Johnson or, or wherever it is from yourself, go look in your mirror, hug yourself, find something that, uh, that you can at least give yourself one hug a day. And uh, I'm not trying to sound cheesy. I'm not trying to uh, uh, sell mirrors. I'm not trying to do anything other than... Uh, you know, realize we have to find that we have to find that that place within ourselves. And that that is kind of what we've been talking about. If you don't take care of yourself, if you're so exhausted, you can't find that reason to um, uh, to smile. It makes it it makes it hard uh, to do that for others, too. There's a special day coming out uh, Saturday, boys, and that is World Kindness Day. It's November 13th. Uh, it's right ahead of us just a couple of days from now. And I know that both of you have some very exciting news uh, that came to fruition after you were uh, shortly discovered on TikTok. Uh, yeah. In fact, um, back uh, in August, uh, Zoa reached out to us. And at first, you know, you kind of get reached out by a, a brand. You're not quite sure what to expect. Uh, it didn't take long after speaking with Zoa uh, that Ed and I realized what they were trying to accomplish was a lot different than what other brands that had reached out to us before to try to do. Um, so it was, it was kind of a no brainer for us. Uh, Zoe wanted to do all things kindness, all things positivity. Um, that's what uh, Ed and I's platforms were built on. So it became um, almost like that match made in heaven. Match made in heaven. Wait, so then Ed, tell us a little bit more about kind of like how, um, how it came to life, what can people expect on the actual day? People don't even know World Kindness Day is a thing. And I think when they watch the two of you, they would think it's every single day. Uh, but then you look at it, it's, you know, what do you, what do you guys plan to kind of take, take on with Zoa? Well, hopefully it's a, uh, it's an opportunity uh, for the people who don't know what this day is uh, to realize what this day is and not only what it is, but what it can be, um, what it can be when people come together, what it can be, when an amazing brand like Zoa uh, recognizes uh, all the love and uh, positivity on the platforms that we've been blessed with um, and what everyone uh, can see and realize on that day on November 13th. 
I have my ideas of what I think is going to happen on November 13th. And, <laughs> um, and, and I, I, I know that it is going to be beautiful. I know that there is going to be a miracle that happens. Um, and I know that because I've seen, uh, I've seen it in the past. Um, thank God, thank everything. I'm doing it with the, uh, with my boy, JT Laybourne. Uh, thank God I'm doing it uh, with uh, Zoe Energy. And, um, I couldn't, couldn't do it with better partners. And, um, it's very exciting and overwhelming <laughs> what is going to happen. And I think it's, I think it's going to be a beautiful thing. And if it affects one person, um, in a positive way, uh, I think that's, a, that's amazing. And I know because of our amazing followers, um, the amazing people uh, that we get to work with, uh, that that is going to happen 100% on that night. Mm. And uh, just seeing the effect that uh, some of the things that we've already done with uh, putting a mirror up uh, on the Walk of Fame, um, watching people interact with that mirror, uh, seeing how one person could kind of be walking with their head kind of down and then almost come alive when they see themselves in this mirror and they read that message. Uh, and then this sounds funny, but it's almost like they walk away a little bit taller. Uh, mm -hmm. They walk away with that smile. And, and so you almost, we get to witness it uh, happen. Um, Ed, he's nobody to, he's not the one that's going to tell you this, but he reached out to me um a little while back and he said hey there's a gentleman on tiktok that means the world to me he's uh amazing um and i would like to do something kind for him uh he's got an amazon wish list and i think we could uh we could put a smile on his face uh mm -hmm. ed and i have done some really amazing things together uh it didn't take anything but ed just saying that's what he wanted to do um and we got a chance to uh, do a, a shared live with this gentleman. And uh, not only was he ecstatic that we were able to help him out a little bit, but then this community of people on TikTok uh, literally purchased his entire Amazon wish list right in front of our eyes. Um, it was the coolest thing to witness. Mm. I love that. That's why we love you guys. You know, so Zoa Energy, though, I think that you guys have a particular way of bringing this to life on Saturday, I'm assuming. So where can people tune in? I know it's probably going to be on TikTok, right? That's just where you guys are. I would literally, I don't even have one. I, I wanted to disclose <laughs> that. Now I'm going to go create one just for Saturday, probably. Where can people tune into this thing? Um, and it's so beautiful. That there's like a day dedicated to this number one, but that there's a specialized campaign, especially with the backing of, of a big company like that, especially because people don't yeah. know this, but you mentioned it earlier on uh, the conversation, Ed, that Dwayne the Rock Johnson actually, um, you know, is a part of this big brand as well. So it's really cool that you guys get to do this, but where can people uh, find it, tune in and be a part of this well we're gonna be we're going live from jt laborns oh this sounds like such an announcement ladies and gentlemen if you're listening right now you're gonna want to tune in on tiktok it's a up-and-coming social media platform uh <laughs> that, it's up uh, in here <laughs> um, i'm joking um we're going live from jt's account on saturday night uh jt underscore laborn l-a-y-b-o-u-r-n-e um and uh it's gonna be beautiful and we're gonna be live for a few hours um hours uh, few hours few hours yeah yeah that's the plan so nice. if you're not doing anything saturday night november 13th uh well now you have plans hopefully there and uh come uh come on over um watch it be a part of it uh just enjoy uh watching an amazing community amazing people um amazing brand amazing uh kindness come together uh for a great cause and to give everybody a, a little insight on what to expect uh this saturday um we have an opportunity to raise some money for uh a foundation that is focusing on something that's extremely important in this world right now um, that goes hand in hand with kindness and kindness starting within uh, all the things that we've already talked about and it's mental health. Um, mm -hmm. Made of Millions is an uh, organization that is working very hard on um, making a difference in uh, 
the mental health community. Um, there's so oh, yeah. many great platforms out there that do a great job of, of bringing some awareness, but um, Made of Millions is kind of focused more on not only bringing awareness, but also using their platform to uh, in, uh, educate people uh, within themselves. Um, things of ways to handle um, episodes or situations, um, giving them tools and not just kind of pointing things out to them, but uh, giving them the tools to to get through a day. So we're mm -hmm. excited to partner up with uh, Made of Millions, uh, Zoa Energy to see if we can't raise some money for a good cause. Let's raise some moolah. I'm very excited. <laughs> a couple hours on TikTok. I, I'm going to spend more time on TikTok in one day than I would have if I had the platform and had an account this entire Probably. time. I'm very excited to see the two of you on that. Dang. We're we're excited. It's gonna be, it'll be a it'll be a night. That's what I know for sure because of uh, TikTok. Um, it's a crazy app, uh, and I promise you, it'll be something that you don't expect. It's a it'll be a fun night. I've got to add to something. Referring to kindness being exhausting, something I've learned since starting this amazing journey with Zoa uh, when they came to us and asked us um to to be a part of what they wanted to do we started brainstorming and kindness and we started asking people what kindness meant to them um the large majority of people always refer to kindness as doing something for someone else um yes kindness can be exhausting and that is why it's so important to be kind to ourselves, do something kind for you. Um, recognize when you're exhausted, uh, whether it be from work, life, family, uh, hobbies, whatever it is, uh, recognize those moments and understand that it is 100% acceptable to be uh, selflessly selfish. Um, because if you're not okay, if you're not doing well, if you're not present, if you're not feeling that that's what we're going to end up putting out so take that moment to do something kind for yourself it's got to start within us you know what i just thought about as i was asking that question i would hope it would come turn fold uh in the way that you all just answered that which is you have to start from within you think about it it's not going to be as taxing or exhausting if you have actual energy and it's hard to even visualize what positive energy and kindness looks mm -hmm. like there's no way to depict it i'm sure we can like go and all three of us can get a whiteboard and draw it out if we wanted to and it would be some really cool like looking pictograms or whatever that is uh but you you have to be kind to yourself that is such a good t a, like point you bring up um and then you also mentioned that there's like different definitions of kindness um mm -hmm. If you could both give us your definition of kindness, what is that now that you've been on this incredible journey together and individually? Ed, go ahead. This is a hard one for me. Um, and I have, I just have to say this if I can. Um, my definition for kindness right now, um, and I think it can change for people uh, at certain times. And, and, uh, my definition of kindness to myself and kindness to this world is doing whatever I can to make this world a better place before my beautiful baby daughter gets here. Um, that, uh, my wife and I have been struggling, uh, to get to this point for over five years, um, showing love to others, uh, hopefully inspiring others, uh, to show love to others and to themselves will make this world just a little bit um, brighter for lack of a better uh, term before my beautiful baby gets here. Um, so whatever way, whatever mission, whatever I need to do, however exhausted I need to get, whatever I need to do for JT Laybourne, whatever I need to do for Justin Crawford, whatever I need to do for Zoe Energy, Dwayne Johnson, you who are listening, you who have never listened before, you who don't know who I am, um, I just want you to find uh, find some kindness in your heart and do something nice for yourself or for others. Um, because that would define kindness for me. If one of you takes the initiative to do something for somebody else because of something you heard here 
or something that uh, you let in within yourselves, uh, that will fulfill me deeply. Uh, kindness for me is impacting a life in a positive manner. Um, that's been the way that I've been able to wrap my head around it. Uh, and that goes by literally holding a door open for somebody, um, smiling at somebody, uh, doing a good deed for somebody. The, the scale is endless, but just impacting a life in a positive manner, that's all it is. And the reason I say impacting a life is that it can be our own life sometimes that we need to impact. Um, so just impact the life in a positive manner, uh, no matter how big or small. Mm. And I only imagine how many people are listening right now that like not only feel amazing, I feel fucking great. Uh, this is just such good conversation. It's so thoughtful. It's so heartful. It's so loving. And I don't think we do enough of this. Um, I had had a conversation yesterday on the phone with someone who should have really been not a client, but someone who I had imagined like, you know, we were going to do some business together and we talked for two hours about everything but business. And I was like, this is what life is about. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are. I think so many of us have to have these deeper conversations and deep doesn't mean heavy. It's something I mentioned yesterday that I wanted to bring up with the both of you because I know that's how you also see it. It doesn't mean we talk about the latest death in our family. It just means that we figure out where the depth and where the connection, uh, the positive connection is between the two people. And that's the power of human connection, in my opinion. Um, as we wrap this conversation, though, I, I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on what a perfect day looks like for someone like yourself, who I look at and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're happy doing what they're doing. You know, people like Zoa have discovered you, you guys have raised so much money, right? And I think you're going to only continue to raise more money and awareness about not just kindness. I mean, obviously that's a huge um, umbrella, right? It's like the umbrella effect. You start with one and then I think a lot of other things are going to trickle down from it. I don't even know if the umbrella effect is a real thing. So don't ever, don't ever look that up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and if you're listening, I'm not that smart. This is why I ask questions for a living. Um, <laughs> what, what is a perfect day for the two of you look like? That has to be my final question because as I'm, as I'm thinking about the way that you guys would go about your day, I can only imagine how you start and finish it, but can you walk us through uh, your perfect day? If you've had one recently, especially knowing the impact and knowing the great love and attention you're getting and giving out, um, walk us through that. Wh whoever wants to go first. Mm. Uh, a perfect day is a day that I get to lay my head on a pillow at night and feel fulfilled um and that comes through a day that's going to have all the ups and downs I, I go back to the perfect day of when we put that uh as ed said the the mirror in uh la there were so many things that happened during the course of that day that uh were frustrating but man uh that day was perfect that day was imperfectly perfect. Um, so that's my perfect day when I get to lay my head on a pillow and feel that uh, feeling of fulfillment. Well, and kind of to echo what JT said, because that was, you know, defining the perfect day is a little bit difficult, but rewarding yourself and getting your, your body and your mind to get that rest at the end of the day, no matter what you've been through and everything. One of my favorite things is laying down in my bed and it's like, I've got my girl. I've got, you know, I've got my beautiful wife right there who happens to have another beautiful girl inside of her right now. No matter what's happened, it's like, I've still won. Um, I'm still there. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Taylor, my beautiful wife, wasn't with, uh, with me in Los Angeles while we were doing that. But as JT said, it's like, she understands and she's my rock, uh, kind of like uh, JT's wife is his. Um, she understands completely what my mission is and uh, what I want to do. And knowing that I have that support um, uh, from her and this amazing community and that amazing guy right there who I'd uh, stand up for and do anything for in this world um, is, uh, is amazing. And at the end of it all, um, 
even if you don't want to do something kind for someone, I challenge you to go do it and tell me you don't feel better at the end of the night. Tell me you don't put your head down and think about that. If you don't think about that at the end of the night, it didn't feel, you know what, uh, go do it again. And uh, we will find, <laughs> we will find that. So. I love that. The reason I wanted to ask you that is because I know that uh, if you if you think about it, it's almost like kindness is going to ultimately lead to fulfillment and happiness. And and that's kind of, you know, what we've been talking about for the last so many minutes together. Uh, and you guys are living examples of that, which is just so phenomenal to see. And I'm so excited to see what's coming. I'm so happy you said yes to doing this with me. I'm so glad we got to talk to a bunch of the people who are listening right now. And if you clicked play, you could have chose any other podcast, uh, but you clicked on this very one. It's, it's Monday now, but I think that there's a lot to be said about what these fabulous men with two letters as their names <laughs> just said to all of us. Um, so for, for everything you just gave, uh, the energy, the love, the attention, attention to this conversation. Thank you. Uh, and I look forward to seeing the both of you in person someday soon. And um, you know, this, is, this is a journey I think all of us are going to continue to follow. So thank you for starting it. Thank you, Justin. This was an absolute honor. Uh, you, sir, are unbelievable. And uh, this has been amazing. Thank you. It's an honor. Uh, and uh, I love you, bro. I, I love oh, all of you and I love uh, thank you for great. thank you for having me. <laughs>